What's up, what's up? It's Morsi here. I got a video that I was not even planning on making and it just kind of happened. The idea happened and I was like, oh, whoa, this exists. So I'm in Logic Pro and I want to show you guys how to make a riser using Logic Pro stock plugins specifically. All right, let's, uh, let's just get right started. I'm going to make a new software track. And under instrument, I'm going to use retro synth. All right, so we are going to make a riser using retro synth. It just kind of happened by accident. I was like, oh shit, I like this idea. So, yeah, let me start by first before we even open up retro synth. Let's kind of create a MIDI. So, I'm going to highlight. I wanted to do about uh, about four bars or a bar. So I'm highlighting it. I'm con hitting control click, going to create a MIDI region. All right, pretty basic stuff right there. We're going to start that first region at C. It could be whatever you want. Right. And then we are going to duplicate that. to wherever, I don't know. Let's just say C5. All right, now we have two MIDI lines across. We're opening up Retro Synth. And all you have to do, and then we'll start tweaking later, but all you have to do is turn on Glide. And from Glide, I'm gonna to go to Auto Bend. I'm gonna take the time, go all the way across. Take the depth, go all the way across, and then let's just hear this. Now that's with all oscillators. Let's try and do oscillator filter and oppose. Let's see if those do any. Kind of cool. Let's try a uh, oscillator filter. All right. I kind of like that. Although I did like, kind of like the pose actually. Why the hell not? And I noticed when I turn on flanger and I went to the mix all the way across as well. And then you can maybe start messing with some other filters or whatnot if you want. Kind of sick. This is all because I'm doing, I'm about to teach a class in a couple of hours to 266 Japanese students. And I was thinking, oh, maybe we can add some type of effects to this drum chorus that I'm teaching. And um, I was like, yeah, a riser would be fun. Anyway, to, to finish and shape this off, I want to add some reverb. So I have a send and already made a reverb bus using uh, Space Designer. And let's turn that on. Let's maybe EQ a bit. And there you have it, a quick riser effect using RetroSynth. How cool. Hope you all enjoyed that. As usual, I do this for free. All I ask is that you subscribe, like, and support the channel. Morsi Music, baby. I'll see y'all later. Holler.